Struggling to find your feet in Red Dead Online? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, I'll share 50 Red Dead Online tips that will literally change the way you play Red Dead Online. So let's not waste another second and get straight into this one. Tip 1. NPC campfires are a lifesaver in Red Dead Online, so make sure you use them whenever you see them. They're completely free, can be used for cooking and crafting, and are overall just very handy. Tip 2. If you want to clear a bounty, you can just head to the post office or your camp to pay it off. This is super useful if you just want to get on with your daily challenges without people coming after you. Tip 3. Make sure to reset your awards. You can actually reset some awards up to 10 times, and every time you complete one, you'll get 40 gold nuggets, as well as a handy bit of XP. I mean, there's one within the Bounty Hunter world that will give you 10,000 XP, and this can be reset an unlimited number of times. Tip 4. The first role you should be investing in is the Bounty Hunter. It does cost 15 gold bars, but it's the only role in the game that is actually going to give you gold every time you bring in a bounty. Yeah, other roles do have daily missions, but not all of them reward gold. Tip 5. When going for a bounty mission, try to complete the highest tier available, which is represented by the dollar symbols above the contract. Tier 1 is shown by $1, for Tier 2, $2, and for Tier 3, $3. These are the ones that you want to be going for. Tip 6. If you're a solo player, it's a good idea to invest in the Bounty Hunter Wagon. This will allow you to take in more bounties at a time, and ultimately will make you more money in the process. Tip 7. To get the maximum payout within the Legendary Bounties, you need to wait at least 30 minutes. However, you don't have to just waste your time walking about. You can actually do other money-making activities like hunting animals for cash. Tip 8. Avoid the prestigious Bounty Hunter license at the beginning of your RDO journey. Sure, you may unlock more content for the role, but you're not actually going to get better payouts, and the content isn't even that good anyways. To be honest, you're probably better off just buying into other content and saving the prestigious Bounty Hunter for last. Tip 9. Another great item to invest in is the Reinforced Lasso which allows you to hogtie enemies for much greater periods of time, and ultimately makes Bounty Hunter missions a whole lot easier. Tip 10. Normal bounties give you a maximum posse of 7, which will make life super easy because you can only take up to 6 bounties at once. This means that there will be 1 person per bounty with someone left over. Tip 11. You can only have 4 people with you during legendary bounty missions. This makes life much easier because legendary bounties increase in difficulty each time you complete them, so it's good to have a little bit of backup. Tip 12. Complete all your Moonshine story missions. For one, these are some of the most enjoyable missions in the game, but they also give you pretty good XP and gold. Tip 13. The best locations for your Moonshine Shack are the Bayou or the Tall Trees. These locations are easily accessible and have the fastest delivery routes for efficient exports. Tip 14. Always use the berry cobbler or apple berry crumb moonshine recipes. They're very easy to make as long as you're in the correct location and the supplies that you need will be very easy to find. Tip 15. You should be producing moonshine 24-7. Getting the moonshine roll is super easy and all you need to do is order moonshine mash and go back every 50 minutes to do a delivery. Tip 16. Purchase the bar and ban expansions for your Moonshine Shack. They don't do anything too exciting by themselves, but they do open up new daily challenges which will pay dividends in the long run, especially considering how much gold you'll be able to earn from these missions. Tip 17. Grab both condenser upgrades for the Moonshine Roll. Sure, they're expensive, but they also result in over $200 profit every day. Now, your in-game character might be sipping on Moonshine to help them, <coughs> Focus, but what are you drinking to stay awake and alert during gaming sessions? If you're still drinking generic brand energy drinks, then it's high time for you to level up. Glitch energy will give you the boost of concentration, focus, and energy specifically for your gaming sessions. Trust me, it feels illegal to do any sort of PvP mission after you've had a glass of this. Right now, you can grab 10% off your entire order by using the code J97 at checkout. Trust me, you won't regret it. Tip 18. Use the Varmint Rifle when hunting, as you won't damage the quality of the animal when you shoot it. Tip 19. 
When you hunt larger animals, you should always be aiming for the head. This will ensure that the meat stays of the highest quality possible. Tip 20. To build your honor really quickly, just go hunting. It's easily one of the most efficient ways to gain honor in the game. Tip 21. Whenever you leave the game with animal carcasses on your horse, they will despawn, making all of your hard work pointless. To negate this, get a hunting wagon, because this acts as a permanent storage for all your carcasses, and they won't despawn until you remove them. Tip 22. You can actually drag an animal with your lasso and this won't affect the quality of the meat in any way. This will enable you to transport two carcasses at once. Tip 23. One weapon to avoid is the elephant rifle. Sure, there are some people who think that this weapon is great for hunting down legendary animals, but to be honest, it's highly overrated. And the semi-auto shotgun is much better at taking down legendary animals if you decide to go down this route. Tip 24. If you're a beginner, don't try and get a better horse right off the bat. Yeah, your starter horse is gonna suck, but if you can put up with it until you have at least 15 gold bars and reach rank 20 within the bounty hunter role, you'll get access to the rank 20 Breton, which is the best horse in the game. Tip 25. To make your horse even better, purchase the Nakadocha saddle. This thing will benefit both your mount's health and stamina. Tip 26. The best horse stirrups in the game are the hooded stirrups. Don't get me wrong, they are very expensive, but the benefits are definitely worth every penny. Tip 27. In the quick menu, you can select default horses for story missions and free roam events. This will make your life so much more efficient. Tip 28. If you want to make sure that no one steals your favorite horse, change the access permissions in the quick menu. Tip 29. If you calm down your horse, it will increase its stamina. Tip 30. You can perform tricks with your horse to improve their stats. Your overall goal should be to upgrade bonding level to level 4, which is the max stat. Tip 31. The lockbreaker is a massive waste of money, so don't even bother buying it. Yeah, it does allow you to break locks silently, but shooting them is never really a problem. Tip 32. Another one of the most pointless purchases in the entire game is the pocket watch. For one, it's kind of useless, but you can also just find this around the world for free, so buying one is a complete waste of money. Tip 33. When you purchase an item, I recommend you get it from the handheld catalog rather than going to the closest store. This way, the item will be sent straight to your camp, saving you a bunch of time. Tip 34. If your beloved hat ever falls off, you can just put it back on via the weapons wheel. Tip 35. Don't go out buying every single weapon that you can get your hands on. Trust me, you're only going to end up using around 3 or 4 weapons tops, and you really only need one of each weapon type. Tip 36. With that being said, the best shotgun is the semi-auto. It has a high mag capacity, is very accurate, and packs a serious punch. Tip 37. The best repeater in the entire game is the Lancaster Repeater. Trust me, once you start using this thing, you won't ever go back. Tip 38. The best rifle is the Bolt Action Rifle. You can use this on medium to large animals without damaging the meat you get from the animal. And it's also easily customizable. Tip 39. For snipers, your best option is the Carcana Rifle. It might not be the most powerful choice, but it does offer a good blend of fire rate and power making it a great choice for PvP situations. Tip 40. For sidearms, the only choice is the naval revolver. This is literally the perfect sidearm in the game and will never let you down. Tip 41. An offhand holster is a necessity in RDO. Don't bother buying anything too expensive, but purchasing this item will allow you to dual wield, which will come very in handy in a variety of situations. Tip 42. If you got too many weapons in your weapons wheel, purchase a weapons locker. This will allow you to store the guns that you don't use, making your weapons wheel less cluttered and more efficient. Tip 43. If you want to temporarily hogtie an enemy from range, use a bolus. This will take the enemy in question down for around 15 seconds, giving you a window to get in range and fully hogtie them. Tip 44. If you also have GTA Online, you can actually pick up a free revolver. This is the revolver that Larry uses, and all you need to do is log into GTA Online, complete a slasher event, and then kill 50 NPCs. 
Once you've done this, you should be gifted Larry's revolver when you log back onto Red Dead Online. Tip 45. On your weapon wheel, you can actually select a weapon as your quick select. This will allow you to draw that specific weapon with just a click of a button, making you much more efficient in tight combat situations. Tip 46. Don't neglect gun cleaning. When you let your gun get dirty, the overall damage output of your weapon will be reduced. So head to the gunsmith regularly to get your guns clean. You can also use gun oil. Tip 47. On the subject of weapon damage, make sure to upgrade your weapons. Surprisingly, not many people actually know about this, so you can actually slightly upgrade your weapons via the gunsmith to improve its overall stats and make you even more dangerous in PvP situations. Tip 48. Whenever you are exploring the map, make sure to loot as much as you can. It might seem pointless and boring, but you can actually find some pretty expensive items like tonics. You can also find collectibles for the collector role too. Tip 49. Whenever you find jewelry during your travels, make sure to pick it up. You can sell it for a decent amount of cash. And tip 50. If you want to quickly lose or gain honor, just head over to Old Man Jones and pay 3 gold bars. So there you have it. 50 Red Dead Online tips that will transform the way you play, and hopefully help you out in one way or another. Let us know your favorite tip in the comments section, and we'll see you in the next video.